We're at part three of Battle of Olympus. I have grinded up to 74 olives. And um, I am back at Attica. So let's just go forward from Athena's temple. This uh, guy's throwing spears at me. Uh-oh, boss music. Now instead, though the, the uh, other hints said earlier is to awaken the earth use the ocarina. So we will do just that. And uh, this is Gaia, he fights a lot like the Cyclops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bait him into this platform. Wait for him to chuck the rocks, jump over them. And just stab him in the face with a red sword. And uh, just repeat the pattern. After about four or five hits he goes down. So that was pretty easy. Now we're off to the mountains of Thaya. In Thaya, this is a... Uh, place that's pretty easy to fall off as well as a lot of birds that like to drop rocks at you and do a lot of damage. I'm just gonna pick off this monkey before he causes me any trouble. You'll see me doing this a lot because well monkeys are kinda cheaply placed here and also they can cause more problems. Also some of the birds are cheaply placed. I'm not gonna fall for that. These are uh, trilobites you can only kill them with fire. Because they are kind of small. Just trying to get this monkey out of the way. Or do that, whatever. It's, I'm just going to wait for this bird. You do want to bait those birds as quickly as you can. And just get out of the way before this monkey kills me. Or knocks me into the water, one of those two. In here is Nectar. And as you can tell, Thaya is one of my favorite tracks. This is actually my favorite track in the game. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that monkey hit me. I'm starting off going to the left because I want to get a better sword. And, um... Let's see, I'm just gonna wait for these birds. And whenever the monkey's moving like that, that means he's winding up for an attack. You get any closer, he'll move in. And, uh... That's it, just gotta make jumps here. See, the thing is, you always want to stay, or keep your eyes up on the birds, so they don't catch you by surprise. Yeah, see, there's a monkey. I'm just going to bait him to go out after me that way, and just let, let him fall into the pit. Just need to get these birds again. You always want to be moving in this place, because if you stay still for too long, either those birds will get you or something else will. And just jump over the trilobite. And here we are in another temple. Here we're going to meet Hephaestus, the blacksmith of the gods. And for 70 olives, I get a better sword. And he tells us about um, other things you can get here in this place. Might as well get my password while I'm at it. The blue sword is much stronger, obviously, and it can also shoot a lightning bolt. Which is always good, except the problem with this one is, whenever you use it, it does a half a bar worth of damage. We're going to need something to make sure that does no damage. I am going to have to backtrack all the way to the entrance of this section. But first, there's something else I have to get. Oh, that was not done well at all by me. Yeah, I was trying to pick off that trilobite. Yeah, what well, I might as well use the lightning on this monkey while I can. Or not. Uh, running from the monkeys. Crap. Did not need that. Yeah, what well, I might as well just reset this guy while I can. And don't get killed by birds. I said don't get killed by birds. There's gonna be a monkey that's gonna attack me. I wanted to go in here because I can get some more Ambrosia. And with that, I have a health increase, and life is good for now. At least until I die soon. Let's see, I could either... Well, I'm supposed to actually go back to the left and try and make this jump. And just whiff completely. But the good news is I accomplished everything I needed to, so are on that left side of the screen, so dying really isn't the worst thing in the world. So let's just continue. I'm gonna want to go right for these uh, other things. 
Also, be aware of the birds. And there's a monkey there. Yeah, I'm kind of being extra cautious here because there's a lot of things here that just like to mess you up. Yeah, see, I just picked off a monkey. Yeah, was that thing too small? Um, see, jumping a lot. And I just have to make it past these trilobites. Or get hit again. Up there is advice, and it's really not all that useful. And it's really not worth it because you're either gonna get hit by a bird or knocked off by a monkey once you come down those stairs. You're gonna see me switching weapons a lot. Here we meet the centaur. This is a half man, half horse creature. And um, you wanna go up and take the entrance. That's higher because you can go to this uh, higher section of the waterfall. If you took the lower path, you'd end up obviously in the lower part. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's see, I'm gonna wanna break out the crystal and reveal the door. Now this is what you needed to talk to that guy in Attica for, is that um, otherwise this door wouldn't open. Here we meet another nymph, and we are going to get our second symbol of love. Nancy just tells us where Tartarus is. But we'll get to that when we get to that at the end of the game. Now the bad news for you is I'm going to have to go on one more farming binge for health. And um, that's mainly because I really don't feel like getting this far and dying. So I'll just uh, cut until I get to full health. Okay, now that I'm back at full health, let's just continue onwards. These are butterflies, they like to uh, drop, I guess, uh, poisonous dust on you. And with these flowers, I'm going to use a lightning bolt because I don't want them hitting me with fire. I mean, even though you do lose health, it's actually really not worth it to keep these things around. And just jump over the fire. And the good news is, with the lightning bolt, you can kill these things in one hit. And just the, pretty much the same thing. And here we get to the boss. This is a dragon. Um, he likes to swoop around. What you want to do is uh, stay still. And then you can get this guy in a circle. And whenever he's doing that, you just slash him in the head and duck. And that's really all there is to this boss. I mean, if you do move around too much, then he's going to uh, go around in that figure eight pattern. And then he actually could catch you off guard if he's... Uh, Getting you on the way down. And now that he's dead, we get the golden apple. The golden apple uh, increases your defense. And I'm not really sure why it is, since the golden apple was actually part of the Iliad, where Eris, the goddess of discord, had the golden apple because she wasn't invited to this wedding of gods. And also, um... They figured that, you know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, because either way she's going to cause trouble. So she decided to give the um, people a golden apple and said to the fairest, and uh, three goddesses fought over this thing, which was Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite. So that was her way of causing trouble. I'm not really sure what that has to do with uh, reducing your damage. But whatever, I'm not going to argue with the logic of this game. Anyway, here we get swarmed. By centaurs, monkeys, and birds. Now oh, I wanted to pass him. See, that's the thing about centaurs, you can't really run from them because they're too fast. And they uh, keep hitting me a lot. The good news is, with the golden apple, it's a little bit more bearable. And I'm just going to try and outrun this monkey. Um, let's see, no, I was not done well at all. So I just uh, need to backtrack a bit. Fortunately, it's not that long. Okay, there's the sun statue. Save me, Pegasus!
But yeah, that's it for Thalia. We're, um, or we already accomplished everything we need to there, so we don't need to go back there anytime soon. And back at Laconia, I'm actually gonna use this again. And I'm back at Arcadia. There's a few things I need to do before I go to Crete. And, um, let's see, I need to actually go to Argalis first. Because uh, in Crete there's some pretty useful things you can get, including the bracelet that I mentioned earlier. As well as the uh, shield, or the shield upgrade. You know what, I'm just going to use the staff for this. So, um, I'm just going to cut until I'm ready to go to Crete. So now that we're back in Argalis, the uh, thing I need to do is massive, massive amounts of grinding. So I'm going to start by going in the second door. And um, I have to trek all the way to the Salamander Pit. Fortunately, I've got a blue sword on me, so the enemies are at least going to be easy to take care of as I am getting hit repeatedly. Yeah, so the reason I need to go into the Salamander Pit was before... Way back in the first video, I said they were too strong for me, and I died. Um, okay, let's try this again with more feeling. Um, the reason I decided to, uh, stay away from the salamanders at first was because they were too strong and I wasn't strong enough. So, now that I am strong enough, except for that part where I died, um, I'm gonna go back and fight those things. Yeah, the problem with dying at that point was it just made my massive grinding a lot, a little bit more tedious, but either way, it's still massive amounts of grinding. At least that made it a little bit better. Anyway, drop down here. And, um, yeah, what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get the, uh, proper amount of olives for the bracelet when we get to Crete. That here is a salamander skin. I'm gonna be needing that to uh, improve my shield. But now that I've, uh, Gotten all the details out of the way, it's time to embark on this massive grinding. <laughs> 